So today I'm carving Yoda onto a real pumpkin in real time. Um, the shorter videos on my channel if you've not got the patience for a long one like this. So I've got my Yoda stencil from a website and I'm going to trim that down. Now this is a nice big pumpkin so I'm going to um, print this out over two A4 pages. My printer doesn't take A3 so this is what I have to do. So this is the level 6 yoga, I think. On my website this has got three tonal changes. You've got the light grey, the mid-tones and then the black. So I'm anticipating it being a fairly straightforward carve. So we'll trim this down. So I always like to leave sort of like a, a bit of a border. That's mainly just so when I'm taping it to the transfer paper, I'm not putting loads of tape across the design because when I'm drawing over it with the pen, I like to see where I've already drawn and you can't really tell very well if you're drawing on top of the tape. Right, I've got my blue transfer paper. I like this brand, Sorrel, or whatever, however you say it be quite pricey this time of year and um, I tend to buy mine in spring and it's a bit cheaper and I'll buy like a rock of it I hope we'll cut two bits off that so we've got my design I'm going to turn the blue paper over and now I'm going to take to this using just trying to keep the tape to the border I've just cut on a stencil and I'm just going to put a few little bits on just to hold it to the to the paper it's ears Now I'm going to cut around this again. Now, I've already hollowed out a pumpkin from the underneath, took all the really juicy parts out and carved back to just when the pumpkin starts to firm up slightly. Now, I'm going to put it up the right way that it's going to stand and then centre my design. So I'm going to put him there. I'll do the top first and the bottom. I'll be able to hide the folds on this one just underneath his ears. So I'll fold there. Yeah, and stick his ears down. And I'll stick where the fold is as well. down let's get where the fold was and then the fold okay so I've hidden two folds there probably need one on the top of his head just so that's flush right 
Now down his arm, I'm just going to do several, maybe three folds. Um, so that one will do on its own. And then see where the fold is just come out slightly. You'll be able to correct that with my card. Now. Let's see, bottom. As I said before, you're better off having several smaller folds than you know a couple of big ones. I'll be able to hide that nicely at the bottom. And then that's pretty much on. I'm going to try and get this bottom fold away from his hand so his hand is flat. Hide the fold in the shadow at the bottom. All right, so that's pretty stuck on. Oh. So now I'm going to use a ballpoint pen and just start to pick out the design on this. So you've got the light grey, the mid-tones and the blacks. What I'm going to start to do is start probably in one section um, and then yeah just start marking it out so let's see where there's loads of dotty bits here instead of carving around each individual dot I'm just going to draw around sort of the bulk of this and there's a little white bit there and again there and then these look like lined white bits. See as I'm drawing over where the stencil folds, I'm just sort of correcting it as I go around.
now. You all right?
There we go. I think I've got most of it there. That's taking me, what, 25 minutes to get the stencil on. So not too bad. And I'm just going to peel this off. What I like to do is do all the bottom, try not to rip it. And as you peel it back, just check the stencil to see if there's anywhere you've missed. As well, the two is, well, it's all secured at the top. It's still pretty easy to put it back down and add more on. So I'm just gonna work it up. Okay. That, that looks pretty, pretty all right to me. I'm going to put that stencil off to one side and use that as a reference. Right. I'm just going to have a little bathroom break and then I'll carry on. Right, back stencils on. Now what I'm going to do is I've got these garden spotlights. This is IP65 rated, so it's... um. It's pretty water resistant. I'm just gonna, I've just stuck a bit of blue tack there so I can stick it to the sheet underneath, keep it still. So I'm gonna stick that in and point it up to the pumpkin. And this overhead light, I'm just gonna drop down slightly so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a lino cutter. I'll turn the light back up so you can see that. That's one of the power grip one I bought a while back. It's got 1.5 millimeter V, which is perfect for just skimming over. So I've missed the line there, but I can see the line, the curvature of it all. So now what I'm gonna start doing is starting at this side. I'm gonna rub, I'm gonna skim over all of these, well, just next to the line really. What I'm going to do is refer back to the picture. So on the black ones, I don't want to go too deep into the pumpkin just yet because I want to blend it. So I'm just going to stick these on.
Well, that's more or less all skimmed on now. So next I'm going to use these wood carving chisels, just a series of small flat ends. And I'm going to refer back to my stencil, find what is a light part first and start carving deeper into the pumpkin to see what brightnesses we're working with. So I'm probably going to start on this arm here and then work my way up to the more difficult face. Just a good way to get warmed up. So this shape here on the stencil is all quite light. So what I'm gonna do is get this slight curved stencil and I'm gonna take just the skin off on this section. Right, so then I know this section here is the grey going into the black, which we then will sort of come extend out here slightly. So what I'm going to do now for this test section is carve across these three tonal changes and these will basically set the brightness for the rest of the pumpkin. So I'll probably go a bit deeper. deep in the middle, leave myself room to blend towards the grey. I mean that'll do for the time being, we can always go deeper a bit later on. more accurate picture on a camera of what I can see. I know this is material so it all needs to be really smoothed together. So there we've got my first test of my light zone. Now for this bit I'm just going to make lots of little lines like I'm hatching, if you know the drawing technique, just using the corner of one of these small stencils just to rough up the skin. So this section I want to aim just to have the skin removed but not very much coming off literally, just the waxy part. Right, I'll get it to about there. Uh, then this bright turns into a mid turn as it goes around the arm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now get this slightly downed one. And then just smooth that top out. So there's our first transition from a light to mid turn. This section underneath here is dark and then into a light and mid. So I'm probably just going to do the light and mid underneath it first. So there's the light, and then that and this section here are all mid-tones. So again, I'm just going to go slightly deeper on the light. And then start to gradually do the mid tone underneath.
blend them together so there's no harsh lines. So I've got that section here, now the black tones. What I want to do is just soften those edges and blend it together. So I'm just going to use a bit of coarse piece of sandpaper. Also smooth out these sections. These edges going from the dark grey into the black. Probably lighten them lights a bit further in, but for the time being, that's cool. Give me a good idea of how the light's coming through this pumpkin. So it depends on the pumpkin. Sometimes some pumpkins are really dark and you have to hollow them out very thin or carve really deep. Some pumpkins let loads of light through, right? <coughs> So now I'm going to work my way up and just keep keep doing that same thing. So So that section there is a, so that comes up and we've got a black part, then a lighter part. This is that bit there, which is, This is another white part here. So is this? My room supermarket. Thank you. Yeah, hold on a second.
All right, yeah, you go with it. Yeah, and I even got fennel. I can't remember what he wants it for, but it's not been in the supermarket for weeks. Uh, so I bought it. Yeah, it's to put some uh, that vermouth fish thing. What's that? We're going to turn this off because this is just going to get uploaded live. Like.
Alter.
Right, I've got to go to London <coughs> for a work trip with my day job. So <coughs> I'm going to wrap this up. Now, this is something I do between carbon sessions anyway. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you. So I've got a bottle with some bleach and cold water. I'm just going to give the whole thing a good spray. I'm going to give it a good spray inside if my spray starts starts working Now I'm going to wrap the whole thing in cling film. the other way it's nice and cool in this garage it's a bit like it being in the fridge so I've got I should be able to keep that now for I suppose a couple of days like that I'll be back to this tomorrow afternoon when I get back and hopefully get it finished in one session. Right then, I'm back from my work trip. I actually just had to clear down my desk. I've just done a challenge video for Historic England. You'll be able to check that out on their social media if you're interested. So, whoa. now I'm turning my attention back to this Yoda pumpkin. So this is being wrapped up, obviously from the, the last, when I started a couple of days ago. I'm gonna try and get this finished in one sitting today. Let's just unwrap it. Kept it nice and fresh. It's dried out a little bit, but no problem. A little bit of mold on the top. Right, I'm gonna try and get this finished today. The inside is still pretty all right. Right. Oh, let's get the light back in it. So let's get the setup done. Turn the light down so I can see what I'm doing. Right. Uh, what were my camera settings? 
down to 640. Five twenty-five. Okay. There we go. Let's get all my tools back. Right, so I want to get this done this afternoon um, and on to the next one. The next video is going to be for the local farmer has very kindly grown me some huge pumpkins which are on my front lawn at the moment. So I'm going to pitch a tent around that and start that today. I think that's going to take me a few days to carve. So I want to get this one done. All right. Oh, so let's see. Talk this on this, stop it rolling forward. Right. right, so my reference is here. There we go. Cracking. I want to get these ID, this eye detail done. So, these are the bright parts. Gonna re-scrape over these mid-tones just to freshen it up a little bit. So it blends them a bit better, a bit further on the down the line. And that's the dark area. Blend that together. Right, and then all down here are the grey tones. So this is a white bit.
watching the fucking oh. Knowing we just realised I was filming in HD, so I just switched it to 4K.
Jamie. Yeah. If you go to the Lady Leaver Art Gallery and get Penny, she's in. Oh, for God's sake, why? What's wrong with her? Stomach hurt, she's gone like very white. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, okay. This is the map's going to wait in the front reception with her. She even looks it when you got her. She just looks, you know, when she's pulling that sort of grumpy, like, where it
can I often do between sessions? Just take a quick photo of the pumpkin and I'll basically just stare at it. See where what needs correcting, what needs doing again. So I think we're getting there with this one.
everyone.
You all right, Jam? Yeah. You finished up here? Yeah. Just think of this one. Oh, very good. It's actually a really good stencil to work off. It's mm. quite, yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think it might drop the difficulty rating what I thought it was. I don't know, Dick, because they, they do look more difficult than what you think they do, I think. It looks difficult, but I think if you're like into this sort of thing, I don't think it is. Yeah, but you want to try and capture the people there. Well, yeah, but I suppose I'm just making stencils for me at this point, seeing if they work, and then I can start to figure out how to simplify them, can't I? Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to do smoked sausage and sauerkraut with um, mashed potatoes. Sounds good, yeah. Maybe can we have like a... We've got any cabbage, maybe like a cold cannon yeah. type thing with it. Yeah. Some mustard and what have you. Yeah, I've got mustard. Yeah, that sounds like that.
I mean, this whole side needs brightening up rather than I mean, at the minute this fan's way brighter but what I'm going to do for that is just towards the end just hollow it out more on this side so you can get deeper in because that's really time consuming um, I mean I'm more or less happy with this um, just a few little things I want to do on it. Obviously this bit here. I picked up this, uh, I'll turn it on it. So I picked this Cool It Out customizer up a while ago. They sent it me to make a video. You might have seen it on my channel. And for foam pumpkins, it's no good. Battery is rubbish. But for odd bits on real pumpkins, I really like this tool. And you'll see why in a second, because you know I've just been sort of blending these by hand. For this bit, I only want to remove a very faint bit of the skin. So what I'm going to do is drop this down to the lowest setting and then I'm just going to start to lighten the flesh up slightly. And if I'm doing it by hand to get it this sort of even would take ages. And it's just doing it with this and lightly taking a bit off so quick <laughs> but I'll probably do a video where I see if I can do a whole pumpkin with one of these at some point the real one that is because look, I mean, it's so fast it gets getting a small amount off. I'm <laughs> 
actually a bit of an issue here is the actual guidelines that I put on at the very beginning have just made it they're too bright. And that's sort of dictating how bright I'm now needing to make these. This the rest of it. Really, I should have just done them with a marker pen. And um, yeah, it's just a bit of a mistake. But I'll be able to correct it. I'll just take these quite bright. Right, now what I'm going to do is just soften the edges between these lines.
Perfect. Let's go way brighter than I wanted to.
Right, let's brighten this up a bit. Balancing that. I mean, you can go super thin, make it really bright, and the pumpkin's not going to last very long. So I've took it to about half a centimetre deep at the brightest parts. I'm pretty happy with that. Just want to bring a couple of highlights to his chin. his lip doesn't actually appear on the stencil, I might add that nostril in actually. 
Uh, it does actually, a little faint bit. You have to be really looking out for it though.
Beer Yes, please. Beer and sausage, what a treat. What? Beer and sausage, what a treat. Yeah. messing about with it forever really. I mean I'm pretty happy with where that's at. I think just take that down a bit. Just make it a bit subtler. So this one, the way I've done it, it's quite a strong light source on this side. So this is too light for it to be completely dark and for you not to see any of his chin. So this is one of, I mean, I'm trying to sort of rein myself in on the black pen sometimes. I think sometimes I'm guilty of ruining pumpkins with it. However, for this one, I think it needs it. So, where is it? Let's put a bit of that. I am just going to smudge it in now. Make it not as harsh. Yeah, that works, I think. Keep it there. Just being careful on these bits here that I don't go too far with the pen. Give you a I think this can get a bit darker actually. Find my 
what can.
Actually, sure, I like it with a black pen on now. I've done it. That's annoying. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, it's too much of a job to get it off now. Um, always the way. Right, well, I'm in for a penny and for a pound at this point, so I'm just going to carry on. And then um, might give it a bit of an outline as well. So. Pens right now.
I mean, I'll do, I suppose. about the black now it's on but I am going to give it a quick outline so I'll probably start here
Go to the toilet then. Children. Just gonna get down to the bottom there. Right, I think that's done. I'm not bothered spending any more time on it. Right, next, I'm gonna get some shots of this, tidy up. Well, tidy up first, get some shots of this. And then I'm gonna dunk it in a sink full of cold water and bleach. Then these, these are outdoor spotlights. I've got a load of them set up on my lawn and then I'm just going to dump it out on my front lawn to rot with all the others. <laughs> 